I think World of Warcraft and I need a break. Recently, World of Warcraft introduced the WoW token. It's an in-game item that someone can buy from the Blizzard store with real money for about $25 and then sell it on the auction house in-game for the price goes around 25,000 gold. Then someone in-game can buy the token for 25,000 gold, activate it, and that gives them about and that gives them 30 days of game time. So basically, it's a new way to pay your subscription fees for World of Warcraft, uh, much like Wildstar's uh, method, which was play to pay. You basically play the game, you make the 25,000 gold, you buy the token, then you don't have to pay the $15 subscription because you're paying the 25,000 in-game gold because someone's buying it for $25. I was really excited about this new way of paying the subscription for World of Warcraft. I've been playing World of Warcraft for 10 years and I love the game, but I, I've never liked paying $15 a month for it. The reason I didn't like paying the subscription was because I felt like I wasn't getting my money's worth if I wasn't playing the game all the time, if all of my gaming wasn't committed to playing World of Warcraft. Uh, World of Warcraft is a great game and I love playing it, but I like playing other games too. So there would be times when I don't really feel like playing World of Warcraft, I feel like playing this other game, but then either my subscription would just run over and pay for another month where it would just be throwing $15 away, or I would, you know, take a break and then come out. I was like, oh no, I have, you know, eight days left of game time, I have to, you know, make that $15 really count and then pay another $15, and it, it felt like I was obligated to play because I paid for it. When I heard about the WoW token, I was like, awesome, there's a new way I can play, I can pay for the game without actually having to pay for it, I can get the WoW token, I can make the 25,000 gold in a month, get the token, and, you know, I'll be fine. But now, as I've gotten the token, and I've seen, you know, how to go about getting the token, how to go about getting the gold, I'm not having fun. Because, basically, to get the 25,000 gold for the token per month, I would have to play the game even more so, and it would basically become, like, a job. I... I mean, playing it, I was constantly farming gold, I was saving every bit of gold I got in a bank all so that I, you know, wouldn't spend it, which is really difficult since everything in the game costs gold. You want to get mounts, you got to cost gold. You want to upgrade a garrison, you got to cost gold. You want to upgrade a shipyard, you got to spend gold. I mean, everything and everything and everything costs more and more gold, thousands upon thousands of gold. So I couldn't get all of that because I was saving my money. Because I was saving my gold so that I could get the token so that I could continue to play the game to farm the gold, to save the gold, to get the token. Do you see where the vicious cycle is is starting to appear? I was I was no longer having fun playing the game. I wasn't playing the game on my own leisure. I wasn't doing the things I wanted it to. I was focusing so much on getting the gold that it just it wasn't fun anymore. I've you know I've I've talked to this about with a few people and the comments I get are like, oh well, you know, I make twenty five thousand gold in a day just by farting. And, you know, all of these ways, I was like, well, like, one, and, you know, they're telling me different ways to do it through professions and all this other stuff. The problem is, I've never enjoyed doing the professions. I've never liked doing the professions. I've, I tried it once to make a to blacksmith a sword, and the sword ended up sitting in my bank. I ended up selling it the other day for gold to pay for the token. So I just, I've never had fun doing the professions. Uh, you know, and then just basically farming raids and dungeons for gold, that, that gets boring, that gets dull, that gets not fun. So, I'm sure there are ways to make the 25,000 gold, but that's not fun to me, and that's the point of World of Warcraft, is that I want to have fun playing this game, and trying to work to get 25,000 gold, just so I can pay, just so I can play the game, to keep working to get 25,000 gold, that's, that's not fun for me. So... I think I just need to step back. I think I need a break from World of Warcraft. I think me and World of Warcraft, we need to go on a break. I'm sorry, wow. It's, it's just, it's not working right now. And I just, I can't do this anymore. I have to step back for me. You know, I, I think in the long run this will be best for both of us. But thing, I, I need to figure myself out. And... You know, yes, I'm going to be playing other free-to-play MMOs while we're on this break, like Wildstar or or Knights or the Old Republic or maybe Marvel Heroes. But you and me, it's just it's not working out. 
you know, and I'm sure you're going to have other players, so, you know, don't, don't, I promised myself I wouldn't cry. <sighs> I just need to take a step back. I need to get to a point where I feel comfortable either farming for the 25,000 gold to pay for the token that I can still have fun, or I just need to get comfortable paying the $15 a month. Which right now, in, in my own current situation, I'm not, I'm not comfortable doing. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to take a step back. <sighs> Remember, if you leave a comment on this video or any of the other videos in July, you enter for a chance to win this Mad Moxie Funko figure. What are your thoughts on weighing the WoW token to the subscription? Let me know in the comments what you think about World of Warcraft in general. Let me know in the comments. Follow me on all the internets. Like the video, subscribe to my channel so I can geek out some more, and share the video around. Thanks for watching. One, so... Captain America, Thor, Hulk.